Hello everybody, my name is Dylan. Welcome back to another episode of Shiba News. We're going to be looking at the Shiba price and a couple tweets here and there. And we're going to be looking at some interesting news that also came out today for the Shiba token. So if you are interested in any of that or any other altcoins, I just made a video on my altcoin portfolio. If you're interested, take a look at it. But let's jump right in. Okay, so we do have here Shaitoshi Kusama. And if you don't know who Shaitoshi Kusama is, scroll up here. He is the actual project manager of the Shiba token. It says here, project manager for SHIB. And some call me a hero, many call me a prince. I conceptualize and manifest infinite gains. And so, yeah, so he's a project manager for SHIB. And he's been recently tweeting because a lot of people have been asking him and the Shiba developers for some proof on Shiba Swap because it's been a couple of days now. They've been testing the mainnet and people are getting kind of antsy. They're looking for some clues or answers to see how Shiba Swap is going to operate and how it's going to look and if it actually is real. So we do have here uh, your favorite Shib poster tweeting, Shib Army is speaking. Do the developers really want a decentralized community? Here it is. And so it says here, do you think that we should get a full image, seconds long video of ShibaSwap operating? And um, people voted and they said, yes, transparency is best or no, let the FUD remain. So a lot of people are very curious into what ShibaSwap is going to look like. And if it actually is uh, moments away from being functional or if it's operating. So a lot of people are very interested. It's funny that they know here, let the FUD remain. If you don't know what FUD is, it's fear uncertainty and doubt and there has been some recent fud in the shiba community because of the shiba swap and the uh constant updates but little proof of what shiba swap actually looked like and how it operates and so we see shaitoshi kusama here said i'll match this poll let's see so they wrote do you want me to stop the dev team and have them produce a video of the working swap or let them focus on security measures, secure tokenomics, and the mobile UI. And so a lot of people voted here, 10,000, almost 11,000 votes. And they said video of the swap or focus on security. And so they do have 35% saying video of the swap and 64% said focus on the security. Now, I don't really think this should have been a poll. Uh, why couldn't they have just done both of them? I mean, a video of the swap or focusing on computer, uh, security don't seem like either or you can do both and i don't think a video of the swap would take that much time or effort or any of that comment down below what do you think about this um but yeah so this is very interesting to see here how shaitoshi uh wrote this and worded this but let me know down in the comments shiba army what do you think about this poll um what should you vote for did you vote for yes or no here on this poll or did you vote for video of the swap or focus on security because of right now we don't really have too much going for shiba swap we just have a screenshot of an a beta ui for the shiba swap but that's pretty much it that we have so yeah comment down below what do you think we also have here i'm not a developer myself but i believe a, vid a video would give opportunity towards manipulation and may promote corruption on their networks and scammers using this to their advantage so this is another um viewpoint of this as well so it's gonna be very interesting in the next coming days and weeks what's gonna be happening with shiba swap are we gonna get that confirmation or are we still going to be uh, waiting for it? So let me know in the comments down what you think. Do you think ShibaSwap is real? And if you do, what are you most excited about for ShibaSwap? So I also wanted to share this picture that a fellow subscriber here has sent to me. And they actually talked to Shaitoshi Kusama on their Discord. And they wrote here, hello Shaitoshi. Has there been any incentives mentioned to burn more coins in circulation to reach that one cent range? Thank you. And they responded, why should there be? There are tons of Inu tokens that burn tokens. Many fail. Would burning tokens not increase the price targets at a faster rate? So the subscriber here asked that of Shaitoshi, but Shaitoshi said that there are a ton of Inu tokens talking about the other dog tokens like uh, Akita Inu or Hokkaido Inu or the, the other Inu, the other dog coins. Um, and they said many of these tokens are, yeah, many of these Inu tokens burn tokens and many have failed. So what do you think about this? Let me know in the comment section down below. And this is very interesting to see here because it kind of does make sense in the white paper that was stated for the Shiba token. We did see that there was no actual form of burning the tokens because 50% was locked in liquidity and 
the keys were thrown away so they weren't accessible anymore from the development side and the other 50 as you know was sent to vitalik and he burned most of it and donated a little bit of it to the india COVID relief fund so so this would make sense this would actually be a reasonable answer because uh there isn't any form of token burning for shiba uh for the shiba token and the shiba ecosystem um, not nothing that they have veil, unveiled just yet in their white paper or anything. There is staking that has been shown on there, but that is not token burning, like I stated in my last video. So this is pretty interesting here. This is why should there be? There are tons of Inu tokens that have burned tokens and many have failed. So maybe they are against token burning. So let me know in the comment section what you think about this as well. But let's get back to the price targets and the price action of the Shiba token. Let's see what's actually doing. Okay, as we can see here, Shiba is now currently trading at 0.000096 of a dollar here, USDT. So let's zoom in on the price and see what's actually happening. As we talked about yesterday, we did see that it was forming this W pattern right here, this reversal pattern. And we did see that the neckline right here was broken to the upside and it hit perfectly our price target. And the price target is going to be from the top of this neckline right here all the way down here to our low right around there and that's going to be our breakout we put this here on the neckline and we hit that perfectly right there we did hit a couple wicks a little bit over but we did get a wick to the downside and we are getting a couple wicks on there before we ultimately came back down to retest this area as support and now we're we're finding some momentum off of it so that's a good thing right here to see we did actually go through and confirm this breakout of this w pattern now we're retesting the neckline again and it looks like we're making our way back up here to retest this critical resistance. Like I said many times before, we found resistance here, support here, and here, and here. But we did see still very strong resistance because if it's going to be very strong support and we're going to be bouncing off of it multiple times like we saw in this whole area right here, then you know for a fact it's going to be very, very hard resistance in the end as well. So we are currently making our way back here. We do see that potential if we break the support here where we found our initial breakout of this w pattern we could ultimately come back down here and retest this support box here at the point zero 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 seven two dollar range and if we also take a look here on our rsi we are um, we did get some resistance over here where we found resistance multiple times as well if we look back here we found resistance here here and in this whole area so we did find resistance there on the RSI as well, but we are also finding support right here. And where does that line up? That lines up perfectly right here with our initial downtrend coming here for the RSI. Boom, finding a support. And that makes us um, more likely to move up here to the upside and trade in these overbought regions where we see the price move up dramatically. So if this interests you more, remember I'm gonna be covering this on my channel every single day here. I'll be giving updates on the Shiba price and some uh, worthy Shiba news, you know, not like, oh, Robin Hood could, could add them up, you know, just rumors. I want to be giving you some concrete information here. And when that does happen, if it does happen, if there's any exchanges that are huge that do add Shiba, I'm going to be posting it here on my channel. So remember to like and subscribe if you are interested in this. But we do see that we are getting a bounce off of this area of support. Let's zoom in a little bit more. So I also put my moving averages here, our yellow, our red, and our orange line. The yellow is our 21 moving average. And now we're actually starting to find it as support, but we are trading in such a tight range. This is very critical here at the moment because we see our red and we see our green, I mean, our yellow line, our 21 and our 50 or 200. So our 21 is the yellow, our 200 is the red, kind of closing in here. And if we manage to get on top of this red line, and start using that as support this is very bullish because we do see our yellow is acting as support right now our 21 moving we did find this death cross right here but now we are starting to maybe have a golden cross happening where we could see the start of a general uptrend to the upside so this is very exciting to see here we also starting to see some green buying volume come in after a lot of uh, selling volume but we do see that it's descending as well meaning that there is a big move coming the lower and lower it goes the more a big move is bound to happen just like how we saw over here we saw lower and lower volume and then boom we saw a move to the upside and then now we're starting to see it lower and lower boom move to the upside so this is very interesting but overall we are still seeing that 
decrease in volume here for this buying and selling volume but this should be very interesting in the next couple of days what actually will happen um we are seeing that it could potentially find support here on the moving averages to move up here and retest this uh resistance box here at the point zero 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 ten to point zero 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 twelve and remember that is a very important psychological number because a lot of people were talking about right the four zeros right here right this was something that was looked at but we did ultimately get rejected from this area so this is going to be very critical psychological resistance but if we do manage to hold it and manage to get above it that is very bullish for the shiba token here we are still up three percent for today so not looking too bad um, a lot of other altcoins are starting to recover as well around five to ten percent but it is still very shaky remember this also does correlate with bitcoin's price let's take a look at bitcoin's price just for a quick moment because we are seeing some critical um areas right here that are being retested if we zoom in right here we do see that we're just getting awake to the upside if we start closing above this 40 um this 38 to 40k level then we can start moving up and uh recovering from this downtrend that's been happening for the last couple of weeks we do see that it's actually a inverse head and shoulders one shoulder the head and the head these are also bullish patterns right here shoulder head head neckline right here very clearly defined and if we do break out from there we could make it up here to this 42 to 44 thousand dollar range and this is very important for every single altcoin including shiba that we have to get up above this price action here because that could signify a reversal for the downtrend of the whole cryptocurrency market which means fat gains all right so Thank you for watching till the very end. That is it for this video. So let me know what you think down in the comments of what I talked about today. What do you think about Shitoshi's claim of the no token burning because a lot of other Inu coins have failed to do that? Or what do you think about ShibaSwap and the FUD that's surrounding it? People want to see what ShibaSwap looks like. What do you think? Comment down below. But that is it for this video. Thank you for watching. Peace out.